precious is this season to life yes. and humanity a season of the Passover, a time we believe that Jesus died and then um, paid for our sins so that we shall be called the people and the children of God. I believe that this is all there is to life on earth, that um, we find our way back to the Father again. When um, Adam missed the root, somebody came and said, I am the way. And then through him today, we have found in the very presence of the Father. And we say that thank you, Lord Jesus, for the great work that you did. This was the day and the week that death passed over us. And he says that um, for God so loved the world that he gave us only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Um, so this is the time that um, condemnation and death passed over us. And we are sure that we will not perish if we pass on to the next life and that we will dwell in the bosom of the Lord forever and ever. Okay, Exodus chapter number 5 verse 1. And afterwards, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go. This was just a very simple statement that um, God sent Moses. You see, everything that happened to um, the Jews was actually a typology of what will happen to the church in our time. So the Jews being in bondage for 430 years with Pharaoh capturing them is actually the world being in the bondage of Satan for years uncountable. And how our Moses, because um, the Bible says Moses prophesied and said a prophet like myself will come. So actually Moses took the lead as a typology of Jesus coming to just take us out of the hands of the enemy. And then Moses' message was simple. Let my people go, saith the Lord, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And we all know there's several feasts that the people of Israel held to the Lord. That was actually their worship and their service. So let the people go so that they will worship me and they will serve me. That was actually the whole message. And I, it's actually... A message that God will be carrying out when Jesus should come. Mm. The, the deliverance carried a message on itself. Mm. And the, and the mm. deliverance message was, let them go so that they will serve me. Mm. Our deliverance from Satan is for worship mm. and for service. Mm. You see, God had an agenda. Mm. The very agenda of God was to rule man. Mm by his spirit let me mm. let me tell you something god's agenda was to rule man by his spirit that's why he breathed into man mm -hmm. okay but then the bible says in genesis 6 that when man sinned god repented mm. that he made man mm. and then the very thing that god did the bible says that and the spirit he said my spirit will no more strive mm. with man the hebrew word is will no more bear man mm. So what actually man lost when God said, if you touch this fruit, you will die. Mm. It's not oxygen. Mm. Mm. It mm. is the life mm. that was supposed to be in oxygen. Mm. That's the spirit mm. of God. Mm. Mm. So the spirit left. A man was left with air mm. to walk about. Mm. So actually man was now depending on his conscience mm. to judge what is good and evil mm. because he has ate the tree of good and evil. So he must judge for himself. Mm. Now a spirit will no more judge for him. Mm. He will judge for himself. Mm. So God was still finding a way to now come and rule man. Mm. But it must be a process. Mm. Number one, he must be a man. Mm. To die for man. Mm. So that he would deliver man and rule man by himself. Mm. He must come from a group of people. Mm. So he brought that group into bondage mm. and used that group as a typology of what is about to happen. Mm. So he brought Israel into bondage mm. and then sent Moses as himself that will soon come and save mankind. Mm. Then Moses goes and said, let my people go. Mm. 
then Pharaoh couldn't stand the same way Satan couldn't stand when Jesus came. Pharaoh allowed them to go. Then God gave them to men. Because God was still testing humanity. I won't give my spirit to all of you. I'll give my spirit to certain men. And those men will rule you on my behalf. So he started anointing priests and anointing prophets and anointing kings. So he established the office of kings, established the office of prophets, established the office of priests to rule men by his spirit on his behalf. But the whole agenda is for God to rule all men by his spirit. So actually, men were now giving to men. Even after God said, let my people go, Pharaoh lost them. So men were taken from the hands of another to be given to another. God is actually working a process so that men will land in his hands. So when finally God wanted to come, men were no more in the hands of Pharaoh. Men were in the hands also of his anointed priests, high priests, chief priests, prophets and other stuff. And kings. So now Jesus' message that he has to come is the same let my people go. But actually he came with an updated version of it mm. of I am the king mm. of the Jews. Mm. Finally, mm. the king to rule men is me. Mm. I passed you through other stuff, mm. but actually, it is me. Mm. I have come that the devil, the chief priest, mm. the prophets, mm. everybody will let the people go. Mm. <laughs> So that they will come to their king mm. and rule. Mm. That is why when Moses went, <laughs> God has to kill the firstborn of Pharaoh mm. to deliver his people. Mm. But in this time, God has to kill his firstborn mm. to deliver the world unto mm. himself. Mm. Why? Because men was not, were not just in the hands of Satan. Mm. They were also in the hands of chief priests. The people God anointed to rule the men mm. and to lead the men. Now they also possess the men. Mm. So actually Satan was possessing some. Mm. King Herod were possessing some. Mm. The chief priests were possessing some. Mm. The high pri- that is why it was the chief priests and the high priests that recommended that Jesus be killed. Mm. Because they were afraid to lose the people. Mm. But the whole agenda was simple. That whoever I gave people to must Mm. release them. Mm. That is the season of Passover. Mm. Not only Satan must release people. The chief priest must release. The high priest must release. Everybody must release. That is why that system of high priests and everything tear into pieces. Mm. The moment Jesus said, it is finished, the secret room of the high priest, the curtain tear into two. That means that from today, the people are no more in your hands. The ultimate goal of Passover is that everybody must get deliverance from everybody to see Jesus. That is all. Everybody, pastors must lose their people. Chief priests must lose their people. Kings must lose their people. Presidents must lose their people. Everybody must lose everybody to see their Jesus. The king of the whole world. That's the whole agenda. That is why when Pharaoh lose them, 50 days from that time, Moses went to Sinai. And he brought the Ten Commandments Mm. to Mm. come and rule the people. Mm. When Jesus resurrected from the dead, Mm. 50 days from that, the Holy Ghost came to the people Mm. at the upper room. 
Why? Because the Holy Ghost was actually the replacement of the Ten Commandments. So what the Ten Commandments must be doing, the Holy Ghost is there to do. So actually, God's agenda is to rule everybody by his spirit. The greatest deliverance of this time is to be delivered to see Jesus. It's for people to submit to Jesus. It's for people to see Jesus as their Lord and Savior. It's for you to see Jesus as the one that died and rose on the third day. It's for you to see Jesus as the one that speaks and you obey. It's for you to see Jesus as the one that leads you in life. It's for you to see Jesus as the ultimate of your life. The architect, the, the everything about your life is for you to see Jesus. It's for men to be displaced for God to take over. We have not experienced Passover when people, Christians, are still in bondage in the hands of men. Mm. We have not. Mm. Demons must give way. Mm. Satan must give way. Yes. Men yes. must give way. Yes. Devils yes. must give way. Yes. Everything yes. must give way. Yes. Somebody shout this loud. Like, That's the essence. No mm. devil should be able to stand you. Yes. No power should be able to rule you. Yes. It is the voice of God yes. and the spirit of God mm. that must rule the people mm. lift up your voice and declare now and forever declare it as I pray. No devil rules my life. The Lord Jesus is my king from now. And forever. In the name of Jesus. No devil rules my life. The Lord Jesus is my king from now and forever. In the name of Jesus. Declare this loud and clear. Father, let me know and understand the length, the height, and the breadth of your love for mankind. In the name of Jesus. That is your prayer. Listen to me. I told you just now that he was able to kill the firstborns of the Egyptians to deliver the Israelites. But when it came to us, the church, he killed his son. That is the extent of love to deliver us. Listen, until you understand how much God loves you, you can never really walk with him the way you have to walk. Otherwise, you, you will be full of fear all your life. If you don't understand the love of God, you will be full of fear. You will be distracted. You may think that God has forsaken. There are too many Christians talking about how God has forsaken them. Do you know what you are talking about? It's just a matter of time. Probably time is just playing out. The day you understand the love of God, you will not make mention. May God help you to understand. In the season like this, the message of Passover again is that on on dying, on faint, on faint love of God for humanity. Let me understand that on that breath, the breath, the height, and the worth of your love. This loud and clear, Father. Let me know and understand. Let me know and understand the length, the height, and the breath of your love for mankind. In the name of Jesus, that is your prayer. Listen to me. I told you just now that he was able to kill the firstborns of the Egyptians to deliver the Israelites. But when it came to us, the church, he killed his son. That is the extent of love to deliver us. Mm. Listen, until you understand how much God loves you, mm. you can never really walk with him the way you have to walk with mm. him. Now, otherwise, you, you will be full of fear all your life. Mm. If you don't understand the love of God, you will be full of fear. You will be distracted. You may think that God has forsaken. There are too many Christians talking about how God has forsaken them. Mm. Do you know what you are talking about? Mm. It's just a matter of time. Probably time is just playing out. Mm. The day you understand the love of God, you will not make mention, on Kasasemni May God help you to understand. In the season like this, the message of Passover again is that on on dying, on faint, on faint love of God for humanity. Let me understand that on that breath, the breath, the height, and the worth of your love. Lift up your voice. 